My name is Sid Hazelton. I'm the Auburn Water Superintendent. I've been here approximately 10 years. And uh, <clears throat> Lake Auburn is the uh, only public water source for the cities of Lewiston and Auburn. We've been supplying water for well over 100 years. We've put together what's called a multiple barrier approach to water quality. We are doing a number of things concurrently to make sure that we're not just uh, relying heavily on one strategy to keep the, keep the lake clean. We've got a Lake Auburn Watershed Protection Commission that was formed back in 1993, and their charge is to manage the lake, uh, the property surrounding the lake, to make sure that uh, there's not a lot of nutrients and phosphorus that get washed into the lake. We do actively uh, manage land around the lake. The commission owns approximately 80% of the shore frontage, and um, that has really helped to keep um, keep development from uh, occurring, which would further contaminate the lake. My name is Kevin Gagne, um, Water and Sewer Superintendent, Deputy Director for Lewiston Public Works, also co-clerk for the Lake Auburn Watershed Protection Commission. I've been with the City of Lewiston since 1999 in this capacity, involved in the water utility Lake Auburn Watershed Protection. This year we did an Allen treatment, it was 50-50 shared expense, uh, joint on the permit. Really, this is a result of things that happened in 2010, 2011, that led up to 2012 when we had a, a large algae bloom that caused the dissolved oxygen to drop in the lake, uh, caused stress of the fish, of the lake trout and other species in the lake, and we had a large fish kill. That is something that was really the big eye-opener, like water quality had been monitoring and seeing things and trends, but that was the one that pretty much got everybody of what's going on and, and what do we need to do. Uh, so after that it was a big study. We looked at all the different uh, inputs, causes. Uh, CDM Smith, along with uh, some other partners, really looked at what are the inputs to the lake? What's putting the lake at risk? What's the water quality uh, impacts to some of the activities going on around the lake? Looked at septic systems, we looked at land use, we looked at farming. Um, it came down to the event that happened was a tropical storm that came through and mixed the lake at a time when we had nutrient loading of phosphorus from runoff uh, and just turned the lake over and, and then kicked off the big algae growth. But we also put in place with the Auburn Water District um, an algicide application which we did last year. So copper sulfate was kind of our stopgap measure if we saw an increase in the algae coming up to, to really stop that growth where we'd see another fish kill. And we actually did an algae application last year, copper sulfate, and I believe it worked. I, if you look at the science, if you look at the numbers, you know, we did have some algae issues. Uh, I think if we hadn't added any copper sulfate, we would have had a large fish kill impact we would have had a larger algae bloom. Uh, as it was we had taste and odor issues that persisted from late fall into the early winter of 2019 so we had impact to our customers we had impact to the lake and that's really what kind of got us the reason of why we need to do album this year. We we rely so heavily on what's going on in the watershed with residents, with businesses, with just traveling public, uh, recreation, and I think it's really working with our staff and really interacting uh, with what's going on recently. You know, we, we've had different ways to reach out and, and talk with people, but really people are making the difference. Uh, they're the ones that are doing activities and impacting the watershed. Mm -hmm. So really it's working collectively, it's working. This year we uh, partnered, got uh, Solitude in here to deploy an Allen treatment, uh, and it really went well. I mean, we partnered with 
Bates College uh, early on to discuss, you know, what are the risks. We had a large stakeholder group meeting that was part of the initial uh, Allen Copper Sulfate uh, permit with DEP. Uh, we worked closely with DEP and their staff to talk about what's going on. We had Lake Stewards of Maine uh, on the water doing water quality sample. We had USDA looking at non-target species to make sure that the alum that we were dosing wasn't impacting uh, anything else other than trying to bind up the free phosphorus. Lake Auburn is naturally uh, very low in alum, but uh, most of the cleaner lakes in Maine do have at least some component of aluminum in them. Just because of the geography and geology of Lake Auburn, we do not have a lot of aluminum in our water. Um, aluminum is a good thing, it's a coagulant, it does uh, uh, cling to uh, phosphorus. Uh, with Solitude Lake Management. I'm a, a regional manager and senior environmental engineer. Uh, Solitude is a lake and pond management company. We uh, help our clients basically restore and protect various water resources um, for their habitat value, recreational value, aesthetic value. It's a very specific uh, type of technique that we use, and it's one that we're pretty excited about. We feel that it's a it's more of a proactive approach to managing nutrient levels and nuisance algae, specifically cyanobacteria or blue green algae, which is a potential harmful. Treatments are designed basically to uh, capture phosphorus that's uh, in the lake system that's come in from pollution over many years and is now fueling nuisance algae blooms. Uh, so the alum treatment is designed to basically uh, capture and tie up phosphorus, uh, which is the main food source for nuisance algae and it removes that phosphorus from the water column and can also, also bind that phosphorus up from the sediments. Uh, basically reducing phosphorus levels in the lake, uh, which thereby reduces the food source, nutrient source for algae. Um, and in that way, we can really uh, restore a balance uh, in lakes and ponds to prevent harmful algae blooms. Uh, this particular project on Lake Auburn uh, is one of many that we've worked on, but uh, this is a unique one for us because it's a very large lake. Uh, it's also an active drinking water supply, so uh, very important that the treatments are done effectively and safely. Um, so on this Lake Auburn project here, we're, we're applying liquid aluminum sulfate and liquid sodium aluminate. Uh, in a certain ratio uh, that removes phosphorus but also maintains stable and desirable water quality as well. On this particular project we're treating about 11 or 1200 acres of the lake, uh, areas basically 30 feet uh, deep uh, or more. Um, um, we've done quite a few of these alum treatments over the years. Um, and uh, this should be a pretty successful project with uh, a lot of great teams and with Solitude staff and, and some great partners here at Lake Auburn as well, all pitching in together to, uh, to make this a good project. Hi there, my name is Tristan Tabor. I'm the Technical and Outreach Coordinator for Lake Stewards of Maine. Lake Stewards of Maine is a uh, not-for-profit based here in Auburn. We have approximately 1,200 active citizen scientists. Our mission is to try and help citizens and uh, advance the scientific understanding of lakes throughout Maine. We are uh, 
monitoring the application of the alum. So we follow behind the barge, making sure that the two-part chemical that's coming out of it is mixing properly and ensuring that proper ratios are maintained for the biotic health of the environment. treatment that was done this year and we did a lot of testing. We use this sond here to do the testing every week. We go on the lake and we do from six different sites from four meters deep down to uh, 33 meters deep. Uh, so we checked all the sites weekly for we did different parameters such as we'd have this sheet we'd go out there and we do the depth, the temperature, the conductivity, total dissolved solids, chlorophyll A, the blue green algae, the uh, DO and the pH. So we did that at every meter. And then once we were done that, we grabbed, grabbed samples. We did a core sample at the thermocline, one meter below thermocline at each site, and then we did one meter off the bottom. We tested for some in-house stuff, such as TKNs, uh, nitrate, nitrite, and total nitrogen. We also did some bacteria testing, and we did some aluminum testing during the treatment to see if the aluminum numbers were uh, going up during the uh, treatment. Before the alum treatment, we did a profile at every four meters in order to see what the phosphorus numbers were. We did it in the middle of the treatment to see if anything has changed, and we did post-treatment, we redid it again just to see if we were having any difference between the start to the finish. But. Um, what else we do is we're also going out in the streams around the lake, testing phosphorus loading coming into, into the lake to see if there's any higher places that we need to be concerned about um, and maybe trying to move it around so it doesn't make it into the lake or stop it from getting into the lake. Uh, the other testing we do is we do some chlorophyll A testing in-house. We check the chlorophyll A numbers. And then we do a tow. So a tow, we take a net, we grab, we go down 10 meters, grab, grab the sample, come up, and we read it for algae, check the different types of algae, blue, green, um, golden browns, we check diatoms, we do zooplankton, and we can, this year we tried to monitor it to see if it was increasing. Hi, my name is Erica Kidd. I'm the watershed manager for Auburn Water District and Lewiston Water Division. I work at the treatment plant, um, which is located in Auburn, and the lake is right here behind me. It's Lake Auburn. And my role is to oversee the programs we have in place to protect the watershed in its entirety around Lake Auburn. So what that involves is managing several different programs. We have education and outreach that we do. Um, that's to get in touch with our community members, get in touch with our neighbors, whether they're on the lake or they're in the watershed, to let them know about lake-friendly practices, whether it's landscaping, whether it's development. Some of the other programs I oversee are, um, we work with Androscoggin Land Trust and they help us to get some of the properties that we own around the lake and in the watershed under conservation easements so they'll be protected forever um, and any projects that come up if we need to do culvert replacements if we need to do site work around the watershed along Whitman Spring Road um, I oversee those projects and help get those contracts in place. So those are just a few of the things that I do. We are 
are doing the alum treatment of the lake, which is a chemical treatment to strip out phosphorus. And my role in that project has been the permitting through DEP and getting our monitoring program in place, which Lake Stewards of Maine and DEP have helped us with. They are actually carrying it out, um, but I get the data at the end of the day. I get the daily reports. I share that with all of our stakeholders who are involved. And right now I'm helping to review our aluminum testing data and I work with our plant manager, Chris Curtis, on that. With the help of our partners, we were able to successfully complete the Allen treatment in Lake Auburn. About 1,200 acres of the lake were treated with a 2 mg per liter dose of alum over the course of the summer and fall. We should see years of improved water quality as a result of this treatment and we'll continue our watershed protection efforts as we go forward.